welcome back guys to another video on the channel in this video guys we've got a lot to talk about we're going to be covering um, the direction of the market is it going to go up is it going to continue coming down if any investments you should be making and if so what cards and also the best trading method to make coins in the current state of the market all in this video so guys if you're new around here make sure to subscribe because if you need help making coins this is the channel to be. So let's get into the video. Whenever we're talking about the market, guys, I always feel like looking at the meta players, the Ronaldos, the Messis, and Mbappes are a very good representation of where the market is heading. So let's look at Messi. As you can see, it's got a bid of 1.06 million at the moment. This card was going for around about 1.4 million. So you could just see the impact the market has had, the daily market crashes this has had, um, had an impact on the market over the last couple of days. And let's just have a look at Cristiano Ronaldo. This card was around about 1.4 million. This card is not even selling at 1.1 million coins. I think it's around about 1 million and 50,000 coins. Just, let, let's just have a look. And a common asked question that I get quite a lot is, is it a good time to buy these players right now? As you can see, 1.04 .4 million. Is it a good time to buy these players right now? And in my opinion, no. And the reason why I'm going to say that is because on Friday, EA are supposed to be dropping... Um, I, prime icons into packs and the base icons are supposed to be out of packs and obviously that's a another opportunity for maybe ea to drop some lightning rounds or people are going to put points onto the game to try and get these primes because they're going to be very hard to pack but if they do pack them at the at their first you know the first entry onto the market they're going to be worth a premium they're, they're going to be worth a lot more than what they probably would be worth in a couple of months time so that's that's one question. Do not buy your players right now. Maybe wait until Friday to see how much um, they are going for. Then, if you want to buy your Mbappe's, your Messi's, your Ronaldo's, because at the moment you could buy a very good team for very little coins. Like a couple of months ago, a Messi, a Ronaldo, well, a couple of months ago, like even last week, a Messi, Ronaldo, and Mbappe would have cost you, you know, three and a half, four million coins. Now it's going to probably it's going to cost you less than three million coins, which is absolutely crazy in my eyes. So. If you've got these players and you're thinking about whether to sell them, just keep hold of them because I do think over maybe the next couple of weeks, um, their cards might rebound. Like Ronaldo, I showed there was one million and fifty thousand coins. Uh, a couple of days ago, he was around about nine hundred and ninety k. So he has rebounded slightly, around about fifty to sixty k. But yeah, if you're holding on, if you've got these cards in your team and you're losing value on on, on the cards, then just sit tight because I don't think they can go much lower. But I think they can go a little bit lower. Uh, before it gets any better so if you've got those cards just hold on to them so even just looking at this name on this name i was like 1.2 million like or 1.15 million um like last week and he's 792k i don't know if that's his actual true price let's just have a look is that actually his true price it's just absolutely crazy what players you can get um for so cheap now 900 990k is abs absolutely crazy guys absolutely crazy well anyway we're now going to get into talking about what investments you guys could possibly make, be making. If so, if you guys should be making any investments at all. So let's get into it. All right, guys, moving on to potential investments you guys could be making. As we all know, the Footmas promo has been very underwhelming. And because of that, the SP fodder players such as Lars Bender, the cheap 83s, the cheap 84 informs. And just in general, the inform market has taken a drastic hit. So this Lars Bender was going for around about 14 to 15,000 coins before the promo and because obviously the underwhelming cards have been putting out like the Fakirs going for 200,000 coins these cards have taken a massive hit because at the moment they're just not been required so this is another potential buying window and what I mean by that is is that we now could possibly get on got on, get on them just buy one put it store it into your club and hope that EA decide to drop an actual relatively decent card that could be worth something so he's going for around about 11 and a half Okay, he was going for around about fourteen to 15,000 coins. Another player that would be a decent investment would be Yara Queen. He's in the current team of the week. He is going for around about 11,000 coins. And again, when, it look, when you look at investments, we're just going to buy one and just put that into a club, right? We didn't get it. But when we're looking at investments, guys, it's all about looking at whether they can, you know, link in other leagues. And obviously, Yara Queen can then link to, to the Serie A. They've got plenty of Serie A players like Perejo. I think he still plays in Syria, yeah. But anyway, linking to other players in different leagues, linking to Juan Mata if you can find a formation. But you get the gist. Just linking to other players in other leagues um, and 
you know, if if EA decides to drop a foot miss SBC that requires an 83 inform or just an 83 rated card with a you know with a special, then this this card should go up a couple of k. So just store one. Don't go all in because we are relying on EA dropping sank. So just buy one, store it into your club. And another investment opportunity is actually going to be these team team of the year nominee cards. Obviously, to be honest, they dropped these cards. Um, with minimal upgrades, but let's just have a look at Jordan Henderson. So Jordan Henderson is an 84 rated team of the year nominee, and he is going for around about, what was that? 11,000, 12,000 coins. So guys, if you can pick this card up for around about 500 to 700 coins, uh, 500 to 1,000 coins less than what you actually gain is on the market. If you can pick this card card up at this, this card, then it is low risk. And the reason why I'm saying these team of the year nominees are a possible good investment is because if EA decide to do any SBC in the future and go, right, we're going to drop an 84 rated team, it's going to require one special card. These cards are the cheapest special cards in their rating. So Jordan Henderson, an 84 rated inform, going for around about 84 rated team of the year, going for around about um, 11,000 coins. The cheapest um, inform, I think, is around about 14 to 15,000. And if we have a look at ZH, ZH is another great uh, possible investment again i wouldn't go all in just buy one store it into your club of course if you've got the coins if you don't have the coins guys then i would recommend the, the trading video that i'm gonna well the trading method that i'm gonna be using this video so let's have a look at zh so zh is going for around about i think it's around about 13 and a half k let's just have a quick look 13 and a half k and again it's the same it's the same thing for him so he's going for around about 13 and a half k 14 k and that will probably sell and the reason why I'm suggesting is the edge again. If they drop an 86 rated team and they go right, we want one special card. Then comparing the 86 team of the year nominees, comparing to the cheapest 86 uh, just general informs, the cheapest inform I think is Josip Ilic, who plays for Atalanta. He's the cheapest 86 inform I think on the market right now. So let's just have a look how much he goes for. And he's actually going for 26,000 coins. So again, if they decide to drop an SBC, you've got Illich, who's the, one of the cheapest 86 informs, and you've got ZH. If they go, right, special, then you would think that ZH would slowly increase in price. So there's just a couple of investments, guys. I wouldn't go all in. Just buy one or, one or two like of one of each rating or, or two of each rating. Just store it into your club, of course, if you've got the coins. Now, guys, we're going to move on to what I personally think is the best trading method right now in the current state of this market right guys so the best way to make coins in my opinion right now is flipping inform so i just want to give you a couple of examples just to show proof really of the trading method so we picked up we've been trading with carl walker quite a lot in the shadow and he's been making me a lot of coins around about 10 to 15k per card so as you can see we sold a carl walker here for 295k even though it says basic we actually sold him in the shadow for 295k and we've been picking him up for around about 265,000. Making around about 10 to 15k. And Lewandowski we picked up for 98. Selling for 108. Mares we picked up for around about 66. Selling for 73. So let's get into the method. So the method is going to be special. Either Hunter or Shadow. I do both. Minimum price 10,000. Maximum price 20,000. Minimum buy it now 20,000. It used to be 10, 20, 30. But I found you get more filters with 10, 20, 20, 50. So and all you would do is just add cards on the market. And the reason why I feel like this is the best method right now. I would use this method after 6 p.m. just because obviously there's more cards on the market because EA might decide to drop a, drop some lightning rounds. So people just tend to panic more and obviously prices fluctuate more. But the reason why I prefer this method is because you're literally getting in on a player and you're getting straight out of him. You're not waiting a while. You're just there to try and make some quick coins, get in at, get, in, get in the trade and get out of the trade. So let's just have a look. Obviously what you would do throughout the filter, the filter is designed to, you know, have open bid. So you'd add players into an open bid. For example, Promes, he goes for around about 22k. And he's going for 21,500 here. You'd just add him to the open bid. And then once you've done that, you would then go to Shadow. And you filter through the Shadow filter. Is there any cards here that look pretty decent? So McGinn, I know he sells for around about 18 to 19,000. He's got an open bid here, eight minutes remaining. Um, and he's going for 10,000 quid. But as you use this uh, use this filter, guys, you will you will notice that you trade with a lot of the same players. A lot of the same players will come up each hour. Obviously, some will be different. Like you, you might get the odd player that's different, but a lot of the same players will come up on on the filter. 
and then you'll just get a rough bearing of how much a card goes for. And then what you would eventually do, you'll, you'll eventually go over to the 59th minute and see if you could pick up a card. Is there any cards here for cheap? There isn't. And of course, you would do exactly the same for the Hunter. But obviously, all you do, guys, just check them what their respective price is. So we're just kind of look at Tilisco, for example, how I would approach it. So let's have a look at Anderson Tilisco. So obviously, all you do is just search him up, Anderson Tilisco. And how much is he going for in a hunter? So it looks like he's going for around about 20,000 coins. That card's only just been put up on the market for 18,250. So he looks like he's going for 20,000 coins. You could probably, you could, you would be able to send for 20,000 coins. Now, all I would do is my maximum bid here would be 17,000 coins. Because the reason why it would be 17,000 coins, because if I sold this card at 20,000 coins, then I'd make 2,000 coins. So obviously, with the amount of coins, I'm not really willing to invest. I could. You know, you know what, actually, we're going to do it. 17,500, just for the purpose of the video. If we get this card at 17,500, we would then be able to sell it for 20. And see, you guys, I got outbid. And there's a stopping point. you just got to know your max price, how much you're willing to put into the card. And then, obviously, you get outbid. And that's another question. I get outbid a lot, guys. As you see, I've got outbid there. I don't win every card. you just got to keep grinding. you got to keep doing it. It's a little bit repetitive, but I can guarantee you will get some cars so guys if you like the video then please like it as that are greatly appreciated thank you so much for over 2,000 subscribers this channel is growing rapidly i really do mean that thank you very much and yeah i'll see you in the next video guys see you later